We just arrived at the Palmer Event Center. This is KetoCon day one. Are you ready for this? Yup. <laughs> videoing you, videoing. <laughs> That's the way it goes, eh? Yup. Oh man. You, you what? Die. I was expecting it to be a lot colder in here, but oh, I'm in here. really dying. <laughs> oh, wow. And you don't even have layers to take off. I know, right? <laughs> wow. This is what a keto event looks like, eh? It is. It is. This is all new to us, huh? Just a little bit. This space. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Like her little, like, panel, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's supposed to MC, I think, too. Is she? Yeah. That's cool that they have her on the sign. For sure. Gather and lather. I do know that Keto Chow is on a back kind of a thing where right. they're like it's like a, a set of four but they're on the back half of it okay against a wall so maybe we should have done the external okay path lead the way they got cornered by somebody uh-oh oh maybe they're gonna learn about brain tap <laughs> it's Cindy. I, I got something for you too. Aww. I do. Hopefully you got a bag. I see you got a bag. My and husband, husband is carrying my bag. Where are the husbands? They, we, are already, we already lost them. By some other vendor. Oh, oh my stars! Just, that is fantastic. Oh, that is so Thank cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love it. That is awesome. I love wooden. There's the main stage over there. Seven more minutes. Yeah. So main stage. I did want to find where Keto Chow was. Oh, I see it. I see it. There they are. Hello. Oh, good grief. I'm going to try the bread. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got the stuff at home. I have all the recipes here, but I'm thinking about that, talking about that minutes ago. It's like, wait, I know you. Bread. Thank you for all the work on that. You're welcome. All right, there's Keto Chow. We found him. There's Chris. There's Lynette. Ooh, raspberry cheesecake. They got the good ones. It's Lynette. Oh, you guys are cute. I'll tag you. Yeah. Okay, well, now you got to sell us on Keto Chow. Tell me why. I've never had Keto Chow. Tell me why I should have it. Is this shake? No, this has got to be just another protein shake, right? Just another one. Oh, no. It is hands down. Be best. The only place that's like on the market. Oh, I'm sold. Come try it. All right, we got to try it. I haven't had breakfast yet, so. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I woke up with this. All right. Oh, flap. Hold on. I'll hold it for you. We are setting Am I turning down. things around? Turn around. Yeah. Okay. Turn it around. Hold turn on. Oh, hold on. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> now we have a camera crew. <laughs> All right. So this is pistachio? Yep. Okay, pistachio. I have never tried pistachio. Pistachio pudding. Do we? Oh. Do we dink it, but you just put it in You better dink it. No, 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 dink. Oh, sorry, your video's crooked. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, don't buy pistachio because I'm going to buy it all. Okay, Renee loves pistachio. Yeah. And we have not tried the pistachio yet, so I'm going to have to get some for sure. Oh my gosh. How many thumbs up? Oh, I got to give it at least 10 thumbs up. Oh, I give it a million. Oh. Overachiever, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Wagyu tallow with the chocolate core now, as you drink sweetened it, with stevia. Yeah, and as you drink it, think like chocolate frosting on a donut. Right. Like chocolate frosting on a donut. Wagyu beef tallow, Cheers. chocolate. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be back. Wow. There's a, Why? there's a creepy guy behind me. Why is it so good? <laughs> oh my gosh. Why are you trying? It tastes like the a donut. It's like, like a donut. chocolate donut. It's good. Like what yeah. the heck? You could, you could okay, name I this chocolate donut, donut flavor. I in college and it tastes just like that. Oh gosh, that's delicious. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm trying to get a picture of everybody that I meet. Oh, can I get there a picture you of you guys taking your pictures? Because this is just Yeah, okay. <laughs> Everyone takes selfies at the same time. I don't know if I can. I can't push the button. <laughs> it's great.
Gracie. And Hi, Gracie. Gracie. Something she'd like to say to everybody. Have a great time at KinoCon. So we're going to try brain tap. Speaking. I would say one of you go ahead and have a seat here. Okay. There's a little bit of a way. Go both. Okay. So have you ever brain tap before? No. Not that I know of. Okay. So brain tap in, uh, increases neuroplasticity. Helps you sleep better, focus better, and perform better. We're going to measure your autonomic nervous system, sympathetic, parasympathetic, your uh, uh, central nervous system. We're going to look at alpha, delta, theta, gamma, and beta, and we're going to see how stress affects all of that, as well as your biological age and your metabolism. Okay. We're going to give you about a 13-minute session, come back, and show you how we include all those seconds. Wow. Okay. okay. That'll be awesome. Okay, so we won't touch our hands or our feet at all. Keep our hands, our feet flat on the on the ground. Sit back, head up. Keep our eyes open. All right. We'll get your heart rate. It takes about 300 heartbeats, about four minutes, maybe five minutes. We'll give you a session. We'll bring you back. This is your before, this will be your after. We're looking at your autonomic nervous system, so parasympathetic, sympathetic, and your neural hormonal system. A balanced uh, autonomic nervous system would look like this. About 33%, 33%, about 25%. Parasympathetic. This is the gas and uh, pedal and the brake for uh, your cellular health, your mitochondrial uh, rebuild. <laughs> what, are, what are you eating? Jalapeno popper. From who? Huh? You're supposed to ask me how is it. Oh, I was letting you have a chance to try it. What do you think? Real good. Oh. So in Walmart. That's real good. Okay, we're gonna get Jeff to try keto chow, sort of for the first time. He's tried it in like desserts and stuff that I've made, but never like just by itself. So the raspberry cheesecake and the blueberry pie, both very good. 
but I mean they're all very good. But you probably don't want the caramel macchiato because that's coffee. I, I just think they should make a steak flavor. Oh, shake. thank you. Oh, good. It's so funny to the people. You know, you think you know them, but you yeah. don't see them in person. I was looking for a T-bone steak flavor, but it's not there. I mean, a steak through a straw. There's the right beef. There, there's the beef um, protein one made with Wagyu tallow. Ooh, it's cho- it's chocolate flavor, but it's really good. Just grab one. Hi, how are you doing? Okay. What? I was trying not to fit in line. Oh, well, no one was taking anything. I'm so glad that you're here. So where do you live? I guess you tasted the ice cream I've made. I have to remember because yeah. Texas is like, it's big. It's a big state. So I, somebody that I was about to talk to with someone in Oregon, they were talking to California's mom. Solid? Keto for sure. <laughs> right, you got to try the chocolate one with the tallow. Chocolate pour? Yes. I don't know. You can ask Lynette. Oh my god. Hello. Joe. Thank you. How are you? Doing well. This is my husband, Jeff. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're so weird. Seeing all the people. I just met Wendy and. Um, oh, are they here? I haven't seen them yet. Oh, I need Sally. Yes. Harry. How fun. Oh, Sally is here? Wow. Oh, how exciting. Get my husband to try Keto Chow. Say that again, what you just said to me? This one's the best. Yeah. The chocolate core with Wagyu. That's beef why tallow. if you're going to drink steak through a straw, you know, I should be. With Wagyu. A steak through a straw. <laughs> That would be a good name of a, a meal replacement. Steak through a straw. I already said it last night. At There's um the brainstorm we did. Here. Steak shake. I think that's one. Steak? You should tell Chris that. You maybe the steak through a straw. Maybe maybe Chris could adopt that for his new line. I'll send him my bill. Oh, Anita. My phone. Sure. Sure. I, I wanted to do like, and I wanted to do yep. like, oh, yeah. we, we go together. We go together. We should walk around together. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm, I'm too excited to get that. One, two, three. There you go. Awesome. All right. Yep. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Not at all. Are you are you here with her? I am. <laughs> I'm just a random guy. I just. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got a we got a portrait mode photo coming in. There you go. But I'm not so sure you're like French too because the French are so small. And I'm like, Napoleon Bonaparte was not actually a small man. <laughs> that is a misconception. Mm. He was actually tall. You gotta get coffee with Lindsay. And look at this amazing wall. It's so cool. <laughs> I did not anticipate such a tiny coffee. I know. It's so very cute. <laughs> so you understand that keto can be a stressor on the body, it's a stressor body, it's literally a survival mechanism, okay? Once your blood sugar goes on your baseline, your body releases a small amount. This is really, so the word small, if I had sheets, I would tell you to underline it. Small amount of cortisol. And sugar are processed known as gluconeogenesis. We all know gluconeogenesis, right? We all know this process. This is a great process. Our body's ability to create its own sugar is Amazing. Like the fact that we can stand here and eat zero carbs and like function is freaking cool. Okay? But but it is a stressor. Now I'd be a good one, but it can go wrong for some people. Again, I'm gonna say some a lot because you have to understand like this is an individual thing. Well by itself it's okay. When it's coupled with under eating, intense training, bad sleep, female cycles, etc., you can fight the pro stress environment. So it is when it compounds. 
Dr. Barry and Nisha finally arrived. And the line is going around the building. Oh, there's Nisha. Oh, and Kim. I'll have to wait until the line dies down a little bit. Lindsay and I found Jared earlier. They were enjoying brain tap. So they had, uh, they were laying down. Looking real cute. And they were looking really, really cute. Covered, you know, your face is covered. Your face is covered. You're, you're covered up, you're just laying there like you're having a little night-night time. That's right. And I was like, we could so, like, tickle their face. Yes. Like, yes. Well, they like, were, they were totally <laughs> hypnotized. You could have told them to, like, balk like a chicken or something, and well, they would have done it. I wonder, how did it feel? Because we have not done it yet. So, it's an experience worth having, first and foremost. Second of all, it was a little weird. And third of all, there's so much noise going on around you that it's, like, so hard for your brain to, like, not be hearing all the Yes. Plus whatever the little man is saying inside. Plus having the goggles <laughs> on your head. And that was one of my fears, is that he went at the same time as me, which meant that there was no one to protect me. Right. In case you're you're both body chop my stomach. You're both out. And see, anything Vulnerable. that is like relaxation, I'm a little bit afraid to do in public because yes. I've almost been asked to leave like those mall, like where they're like rubbing your back and I'm like, oh, it feels so good. And I didn't know if it was going to be like that, where I would like make weird noises and uh, be no. asked to leave. I don't think that will be the case. Okay. Yeah. But I think the, the results will probably be even better if you were in a more quiet environment. So yes. the results I saw from those two data points right. were improvements, okay. even with all the different stimuli all around. So I was like, that that's valid. I mean, but it could all be hokum. I don't know. Okay, so, and then that's my next worry, is that they're going to see what's going on, and it's like a <laughs> test that I have not studied for, and they're going to be like, we have bad news. You yeah. Know, like when they break out like the DEXA scan, and they're like, you're just jelly. There is only jelly in here. Where's the peanut I have been told that, yes. Yeah. So like I'm a little bit concerned about that. So like but they but they said it, things are good, like well, so they go through and they give you like my actual age is thirty nine. But they went through and said, Okay, right now with your pulses and everything, you're about thirty five. Okay. I was like I, I was forty. When I'm 39. <laughs> yeah, they said I was as bad as a smoker. What, what, what is going to happen when Are they you tell me? Say who you're standing with? Oh my, do I need we to say who? Really? But then after the session, I got down to 38. Okay, so all right. I got I mean, down to 38. I guess I just have to buy the product and keep using it. I mean, okay, what else can I do? You started out to your grandma and like, you're like, you're 12 years yeah. old. You're yeah. actually 12 years yeah. old. Okay, yeah. so go to Brain Tap and then also bring your favorite like bathroom stall bro. That's like, right. That person that is your ride or die like if this bathroom stall tries to open up i will close i mean back up <laughs> I, and, and, and there, it's I'm, important to have those people you have to have those people and you have to have them at ketocon because i'm going to tell you there if you go to the restrooms in the back there is an entire side of those stalls where there's something going on ah, when, I, I had that i was like going to the bathroom like this and yeah and i'm like this is this isn't this isn't good and the lock is it won't lock so now i'm like oh my gosh like i'm gonna Everybody's all seeing my business. But you know what? We're YouTubers. So, like, that's kind of dirty, too. Yeah. yeah. It's just a no hold your side. Yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. Awesome. That's okay. Oh, my God. Did you like it? This is way long, and I'm sorry. This is really all I have to contribute to this. <laughs> um, but I thought I have to figure out something else. And so I started looking out, okay, what else can it be? <coughs> and I had this conversation with myself that losing weight is good. Losing more weight just because you can lose more weight isn't good. I had gotten too thin at that point. I was over-exercising. I was under-eating protein. I was um, fasting too much. And I kind of just had to like chill out a little bit. <laughs> and I then still did carnivore. And just the short version is like, I still do carnivore. I fixed my hormones. I got my cycle back about six months later um, by sticking to meat-based. I just fast occasionally instead of twice a week, 48-hour fasts, right? I do them once or twice a month. And I still do, I don't exercise, let's be honest with that. But, uh, <laughs> Diagnostic nutrition practitioner and functional blood work specialist, a few other things as well. I've been low carb keto since 2007 and started my journey to carnivore in about 2012. 
Um, so it's actually right after I had breast implants, and three weeks after that surgery, I started to not feel very well. And I blamed everything else except for the implants. And I was not planning to share this part of my story, but speaking of hormones, it is absolutely something that I'm super passionate about. And I want people to know that if you're not getting answers and you have to look deeper, that is definitely something that can be affecting you. So long story short, throughout the years of um, my experience with carnivore, I still did not feel well, and I still had some thyroid and hormone issues. And it wasn't until the breast implants came out in 2021 that I really started to see things improve. Hi, Haley. Well, Wendy wanted to meet you because she's a Oh my goodness. Oh, hi, Lindsay. Like, what am I, Hello. a juggler? Oh, oh, no, I don't mind at all. <laughs> no worries. Hi, Lindsay. We saw Lindsay earlier today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you don't know me. Okay. Okay. But I, mean, but I love your channel and your bread. Oh, 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 and your kids are adorable. Oh, yeah. Oh, get it. Look at it. There we go. All right, ready? There we go. Yes. Did you bring your children? No, they're uh, different grandma's houses. Oh, that's that's a smart thing. Yes, exactly. Ready? Thank you. Thank you. This is the first time in almost 18 years that my husband and I have been out on a trip. Just alone. That's amazing. Yeah.